morning! I'm currently inside my tent right now. How did I find this gum site? I'm gonna tell you my story. While I'm on the way to Aso Kumamoto, I just took a break, went inside, and saw this far. Stop here at Miyagoni. Yeah, I just bought a drink, and while walking there, I saw a beautiful spot. So I talked to the owner, and they, thankfully, they allowed me to come here. And I checked the weather. The coldest is like 5 degrees, so I think I can make it. Yeah. I didn't expect that they have this amazing views. It's just been four hours of pedaling. I'm not actually super tired that time, but I think if I still went straight, I will end up cycling at night. So I decided then when there's an opportunity to come here, then why not? It's a farm in a private property and they're gonna close at 5 p.m. and they're gonna open at 10 a.m. the next day. So it's perfect for me. <laughs> How many years? How many years? This. How many years? This farm. This farm? Yeah. Two uh, years? Two. Uh, How many years? Yes, yes. yes. More. Yeah, huh? 20, huh? 20, 30. That's us, huh? Eh, no, Kuju. Kuju. Oh. Oita. 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 Yeah. Kuju more beautiful? Oh, beautiful. Uh. Then, Aso? Kuju Waita. Kuju Waita. Ah. Kuju Waita, what? Namai, Kuju Waita Tempo Goem, near Temple? Oh, Kuju Waita Oita Oita. Yes. Aso, Aso. Good weather today. Yeah, thankfully they allowed me to come, so I set up my tent in there. So kind, they gave me food. Yeah, it's so good. So they have coffee there. So um, thankfully they gave me food because I forgot to buy uh, food. I thought I can make it to Aso, but no, I cannot. But yeah, I always forget to bring food because I wasn't supposed to come here. Mm -hmm. I had a little bread with me, but good thing they offered a dinner with me. So wow. So I really had a nice sleep, although it gets cold yesterday around 2 a.m. and I had 7 hours of sleep. Now, yeah, it's time to pack up. So thankfully, um, I have this thing um, they gave me. Where is this? So this is like, um, it will make you warm around 40 degrees Celsius. So right now it's 5 degrees. Yeah. I had a nice sleep. And the jobs now. I'm just gonna poop now. It was given to me the other day, so it's like 40 degrees. very spacious now. I have all my stuff on my other side compared to my previous tent. Hungry for the road all my life Thirsty for adventure all my youth Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue And every time I hear a phrase My mother used to say to me Everything happens for a now reason After two hours of setting up So hopefully I can make it Of course I can make it Yeah, it's gonna be a long It's gonna be a short day Finally, I had rested with the view of Kuju Mountain. Kuju Mountain, Yufu, I don't know. Yeah. 
In the next few days, we're gonna see that mountain, that volcano in front of me. I touched down as a Fuji National Park. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so scenic here. Look at this. Yeah, I think it's all um, semi flat path because in the next few minutes it's gonna be all zigzag down and hard. But it's okay if I have this view, it's okay. Like, I can't imagine Japan has this. All I can see is city, Tokyo, Osaka. And I never expect about this place. Yeah. I was only 25 kilometers going to Aso. It's just gonna be an hour of uphill and then it's and it's all gonna be downhill after this finally. Aso town proper and it's very uh, quiet here, peaceful. Uh, it's not a big city but you can see big mountains here. I love the vibe here. Yeah. Now I'm in the hunt for good food I haven't eaten for the past two days. So this is their town, Aso. Yeah, so I found this restaurant um, across the street. So um, on the other side, it's super busy. So someone recommended me to try this. Um, they have the steak. Um, it's just kind of expensive, around 1,950 won. But I haven't eaten um, breakfast and dinner, so I deserve this. I book a hostel here. I met a German cyclist who also have been cycling across Japan for so two months now, oh. and she gave me so tips. I think if you want to go like from here, we were here. I did. I think a, this route is very nice. I did a route that's not on the map. Yeah. No, but I did a few as well. But it was yeah, not oh good. Safe. But I this one, this you? this one is amazing here. That's yes. very nice. Yeah. Should I, I just cycle in Kyushu and skip all the other? I don't know because I didn't <laughs> do the other part, so I, I yeah I don't know. I, I really like here because like I don't want to go to Tokyo. Like, yeah. No. Same. No. I think I came here because in Hokkaido it was so cold and I wanted uh, a yeah. nice weather. How's the weather there? Uh, it was. If I had a lot of rain, uh, mm -hmm. too cold to camp, so I spent a lot yeah. of money in hotels, yeah. and you know. You know, I really. 
No, Look I don't that. think I won't appreciate it much because no, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful and it was not <laughs> too cold and it's not it's yeah. on the yeah. but like I I came from the Philippines with lots of islands. So. Yeah, oh, you want to see something different? Yeah. yeah. I've been cycling for months. It's for two months now. So the next few days I'm gonna go to those outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so I booked my accommodation here at Aso Backpackers. So unfortunately, they only have one night here. So I need to transfer tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be. The next day, my original plan is just to rest and edit my backlogs. But then the hostel in here was fully booked. So I need to transfer again. Like, the tiring part about traveling is traveling and packing every day moving so this time i want to settle for around two days but unfortunately it's all fully booked so i have to find another one yeah the hardest part about traveling is moving <laughs> moving and it's also the happiest part like you're not settling in a certain place but for a while i keep on moving for the past four days i just want to settle for, for for four days but yeah so I stayed in this hostel, um, as of base backpackers. It's really nice hostel, like it's very clean. And I spent just a day before charging because it's unfortunately it's fully booked already. So I'm gonna transfer for I don't know yet. So I keep spending my days planning for the next one because it's really hard as well if you're like me as not knowing what to do and at the same time it's fun but sometimes it's stressful like right now <laughs> yeah so videos but unfortunately I always book a day before so it's fully booked I need to transfer to another accommodation but I cannot find a cheap one so I might just come today and yeah I don't know let's see I want to settle first for a bit like three nights then pedal after yeah First world country if you're coming from a third world country and if you're traveling for a long period of time. Yeah, it's too windy now and if I come at the most campsites are closed during this season so yeah that's the downside. And I don't know. I wanna settle for more nights and I'm still looking for So, nangangatok na ako ng bahay. Pero walang pumapay. Naka-apat na ako ng bahay. I don't know. After four hours of looking for accommodation, I finally find one. I finally found one and it's 11 kilometers away from the station. This is the cheapest. Like, I cannot find cheaper than 4,000 yen anymore. So, 
Yeah, hopefully it's gonna be worth it. Oh, I just wanna relax now. Like I'm too tired. <laughs> When you're broke already, but you're confident enough to book your flight next to other country, just to panindigal lang natin na tayo yung lagi nito travel. Oh my god. <laughs> It's very expensive to go to the Philippines to go back. So yeah, right now I'm booking to Taiwan. So good luck, good luck, girl. But in the next few days, I'll just stay here for a while. We'll take a rest and go for some hiking around Mount Aso. So stay tuned for another story.